What's going on everyone, Bell here, and today I decided I'm going to try to do some gaming content on my YouTube channel. Um, I'm starting out with Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator because this might actually be my favorite Five Nights at Freddy's game. Everything about it I enjoy very much. The little intro section that we're about to do right now, uh, I find just really fantastic. Let's see. How do I do this? Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's actually been a while since I've played it though. Um, put everything on it, why not? Not the way I would want a pizza, but okay. Uh, as I said, I really, really love this game. Everything about it is fantastic. This little intro section. Um, <laughs> it's just a, such a clever little design. I can't believe that this game is free because Scott just uploaded this entire game, which is actually a big game completely for free because he wanted to troll people. Oh shit, sticky keys. <laughs> Should've saw that coming. Okay. I have to be careful about that. Three pizzas to, f to feed a kid, apparently. <laughs> How big are these pizzas? Oh my god. Now, I don't have my mouse hooked up right here right now. This isn't a very good setup for using a mouse. Um, but hopefully I won't need it. I don't think this game horribly needs a mouse. I should be able to do fine with a mouse pad and a keyboard. I know this little section gets a little hard because that little Grey Freddy, I suppose Shadow Freddy if you will, he shadows your movement um, and tries to stop your pizzas from connecting. I know there's a certain way to do it, but I don't remember how. Now I do wish there was a way to change the key from shift, because then I'll be able to fire faster and maybe get these kids done easier, you know? Oh, oh, he stops for a minute after you hit him with a pizza. Alright, so what I need to do is I need to get him down here and give him a couple pizzas, go up, and then I can give the kids all the pizzas. I, I forgot about that. Yes, there we go. And I think this might be the final round where it gets it really glitchy. <laughs> I love this. I really do love this. Oh god. <laughs> I can still throw pieces even when this is going on. Oh my god. And then there's Baby. Oh, this was a fantastic reveal when it came out. It's one of many reasons why I love this game. Alright, so... Uh, play. Begin tape. Leaving dead space. Three, two, one. I suppose it doesn't horribly matter if I talk over what they say, because this game's been out for a nice while. Probably everyone that's gonna watch it has already watched it. They're just watching me play for a different, um, different take on it, a different choice of actions perhaps all right so the purpose of this I don't think it matters horribly what you do in this scene but uh, you know active attractions following audio stimuli if you are playing this tape that means that not only have you been checking outside at the end of every shift as you were instructed to do but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph 4 I'm nodding all of these instructions <laughs> document response times then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. 
these audio prompts are so weird. Some of them you can like almost recognize from the previous FNAF games. Uh, one of them is like a carousel sound from FNAF 1. Uh, so, audio hey, hey, stop. <laughs> prompt 1 results. There was no reaction. I don't think she has any reaction in this first little cutscene until the final one. Two, one. Yeah, this just sounds like whale calls. Uh, as I was saying, one of the audio prompts is like the carousel sound from FNAF 1. Every now and again you'll open up the cameras. No, you won't even open up the cameras. You'll just hear faint carousel music playing in the distance. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Oh boy. You know, maybe I should turn this down. I'm wearing headphones and this is on bus. Oh god. This is gonna be bad. Document results. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can turn it down a little bit. Just a little. I this I don't know how sound orientated this game is. I don't remember. Hopefully that's not too quiet. Still no reaction. Begin audio prompt in three. Two one. Oh, that's fantastic. There's a lot of effort in this game. It's a new voice day. acting and whatnot. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. Fantastic a that plan. Comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. <laughs> what are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. That's right. Restaurant ownership and management. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, it's a lot of money to invest, but everyone's doing it. And that means it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you'll receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, some tables, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left over after buying your franchise package. Use it to decorate, buy a stage, buy attractions and animatronics, and much, much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. I forgot Such how long this goes on for. Atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and attractions can generate additional revenue during the day, which means more money in your pocket, ready for reinvestment. Health and safety. There may be times when <laughs> yeah. you purchase something of questionable quality. Fazbear Incorporated has never cared about health and safety. Just good business. But there are steps you can take to ensure you don't get sued for it. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things on sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something outside that's been trying to get in for months now, which we are not confirming to be the case. <laughs> How long have I been the trying to help break into this, in, to into this establishment? Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Wear that smile with pride and let's make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. <laughs> I love I love that little section and I love this little um, restaurant management area section. It's just fantastically really well put together, like a um, tycoon style of game. Love love tycoon style games and simulator games. Uh, let's get started. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. Great, hundred bucks. I'm right. Enough. Now let's get started. On your left are your product catalogs. All you can right. unlock more expensive catalogs by simply purchasing items for your pizzeria. Use the arrows in the bottom right of the item window to browse the products for each catalog. All when right. you've finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. 
You can switch back and forth between catalog mode and blueprint mode as often as you like before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for the day, click the button labeled Finished in blueprint mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. All right, so I have $100 and I can buy anything here. So, let's see. Why is there a liability risk on a cardboard box full of plastic balls. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the colorful cups and plates because it's good for atmosphere. Uh, I'm going to buy... Uh, I really should get an animatronic. But if I buy the big stage, I won't have enough money. So I need to buy a single stage. And then I can buy any... Probably any one of these animatronics. Um, I like Mr. Hugs. He does have a small liability risk. I don't know how a vacuum cleaner with stick arms and googly eyes can be dangerous. I suppose, like, does his motor still work? Are kids going to run up and, like, jam their hands up inside the vacuum? <laughs> Alright, what else can I buy? I have $40. So, I think... The, oh, the duck one's too expensive. Um, sanitation station is too much. Double station is too much, obviously. Uh, I suppose the best thing to do would be the balloon barrel, and if I can afford anything else, which I doubt I can, uh, Bucket Bob is only $10, but since I only have a single stage, it's not really much point to buy them. Oh, Paper Pals, there we go, that's a good thing to buy. Now we go to blueprint mode. <clears throat> so here on our stage, we're going to put Mr. Hugs. That puts up our FAS rating a bit. How do I move in here? Oh, WASD, perfect. And how do I add the coin slot? Maybe I have to play test it first. All right, this mini game is very, very difficult. Uh, you press space and you fucking win. <laughs> I I love this too much. Oh my god. Alright, can, can I add... I still can't add a coin slot. I can play it again. <laughs> Every time I play it, I think that ups my FAS rating. Which... Oh, oh no. Uh, you can get sponsorships in this game if you don't already know. You get money, but during the night, you get ads which severely hinder yourself. Uh, so, I very much discourage you from going for the ads. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna play test a few more times. Maybe I can uh, add a coin slot, get a few dollars. If, if your FAS rating goes up enough, um, you'll eventually get money. There you go, another hundred dollars. I go to the catalog and I can get... Double stage, which eh, it only really makes sense for me to get another animatronic. I like number one crate, and now here I am with only another ten dollars. My name, There's happy crate. Faz rating goes up again. I got nothing else. I can keep play testing this for. A little longer, I think. Maybe I'll be able to get another hundred dollars and be able to get more better stuff. <laughs> I don't know, like how big of increments it is. Like, how many, how much of a fast rating do you need to have before you get the money bonus again? I wasn't paying attention enough to know. I think if I get 2,000, maybe, that'll be enough. I need to turn this down even more. The bass is, like, buzzing in my head, and these are not very good headphones. There we go. It's 120 bucks. Uh, I want to get the duck minigame. There we go. Pick a duck. Can I afford anything here? $50 for foil party set. Looks nice. 
That's expensive. That's expensive. Fruity Maze Arcade. That's where you get some lore. Midnight Motor. Lore. Uh, Gumball Swivel, swivel Hands. <sighs> that could fit to the tune of SpongeBob SquarePants. Neon stage lights, too expensive, too expensive, too expensive, too expensive, happy frog, too expensive, Mr. Hippo, too expensive, 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 everything's so bloody expensive. I might as well just get the, um, the plates and stuff, because it's pretty much the only thing I can afford. And now I have $25, so I don't think I can afford anything else. Can I? I can keep playtesting, I don't... Maybe I can't add a coin slot to this game. Now, I've noticed in the top uh, right corner there's a score. If I wait longer, will the score be lower? Because I've always seen it at 250. Still 250. Alright. I don't think it makes a difference. How many times can I play test? Oh, I have three play tokens left. Alright. Now I have two left. Oh, I got the Duckman again, didn't I? I need to put that down and play it a couple times. Duck. No money. Alright, let's play the Duckman again. I- Oh, yes, yes, there's four of this. A hundred points. A hundred points. Am I gonna get perfect- A hundred points! Is that the best score you can get, or do the duck scores go higher? I don't know. Another hundred dollars. Making big money now. Oh, I can add a coin slot now. Well, that really does a hundred dollars add a bloody coin slot. God. Hundred dollars. Hundred points. Hundred points. Quick. Hundred points. Three hundred points. I have no play tokens left. And I have no money left. So, I think we're finished and ready to go on to our first night. And I have no money left. Dang it. Well, I'll tell you why that's your big deal in a minute. Your is now officially open. Awesome. That doesn't mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza in the other room. From your terminal, you have supplies to buy, papers to print, and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash, so don't worry about it coming out of your pocket. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose to upgrade any of the equipment in your office. Now, number one upgrade. Matters. Something to be aware of is that the ventilation system and your terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in adjoining air vents. That ah, might be so a audio is important. There's nothing in I the need vents. Sneeze. However, if you feel that something might be in the vents, you have a few tools at your disposal to protect yourself. You can shut off your terminal and the ventilation system at any time to decrease the amount of attention you are drawing to yourself. Also, shining your light directly into a vent will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. Most likely. You also have three tools available from the terminal itself. There is a motion detector, an audio decoy, and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep in mind, however, that you can only have one of these active at any given time. Now get to Understandable. it. Understandable. Simply log off when All you've right. completed your tasks for the day, and you can go get some coffee. Number one upgrade I recommend for this game is the high speed uplink, because this thing's on bloody dial-up from, from the start. Nothing happens on the first night, so you really just have to sit back and relax while you do all these tasks. The only way something would happen uh, on the first night is if you bought something on sale that was in poor condition and one of the animatronics got inside because of it. Um, I'm going to avoid that because I don't need to make this any more difficult. What the fuck? What? What? How? What? What? How? I don't- I didn't buy- I didn't buy anything! I didn't buy anything bad, I should say. I didn't buy anything in poor quality or- or- or anything. Why- Why- why was Molten Freddy there? 
Yes, yes, I know there's fun. This, 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 um, menu screen is absolutely fantastic, too. But how did Molten Freddy get in? Continue. Oh, this makes things a lot more difficult. This makes things a lot more difficult. I have no money. Alright, so now... Your restaurant Instead of having an easy open. first night, awesome. I wish I could mute this that guy. I wish I could mute this finished, guy right now. You have uh, instead of having an easy night, I have to actually pay room. attention. From your terminal, Does this you have load if I look at motion detection? Papers to print and repairs to make. Once you've taken care of all the items on your to-do list, you can log off for the day and get out of there. Money for supplies and repairs comes out of petty cash. So don't worry Nothing about Nothing showing up on the motion product. detection. We've got you covered. The only money you have to worry about is if you choose so, to upgrade was that any of the like, equipment in your office. Because I was staying now, still for so long? Other matters. Something was the game mad at me for saying you can sit back and relax? And terminal are pretty loud and may prevent you from hearing things in a joint to decrease the amount of attention you're Oh god, I think yourself. I heard him. Oh god, also, where was he? Shining your light directly oh god, into where is he? will most likely prevent anything from jumping out. You also where is have he? three tools available from the terminal oh, dear. itself. There is a motion I don't know detector, where he is. An audio decoy and a secondary ventilation unit. Keep I don't mind, know where however, he is. That you can only have I, one I know of these I need active to. at any given time. I need to, now I need get to, to it. My, my system. Simply log off when you've completed your tasks for the day and you can go get some coffee. All right, turn back on. Motion detection. Start scanning. Please show me where he is. I just want to use my audio lure and get him away. I was not expecting this on the first night, and now my friggin' heat is rising. I guess I have no choice but to turn on the secondary ventilation. It's quieter, but it's not as good as the main vent. I have no choice but to turn on my vent. Oh god, he's up in the corner. I just saw it. Alright, hopefully... Hopefully that audio lore will help keep him distracted because... I'm screwed. I was not expecting that. I must have accidentally upped my, um risk or bought something I shouldn't have without realizing. Oh god, I hear him. Where's he coming from? Oh god, he's right next to me. Please, please go away. Go away. Go. Do you think he'll listen to me? I think that was movement. Hopefully it was the sound of him moving away. So let's turn on my system. There's two? How's there two? No. Don't. I don't, I don't, I don't want... This shouldn't have... This shouldn't have happened. This really should not have happened. This is making things a lot harder for me. Oh, and bloody heat is getting too high now. Right, after this print, I'm going to check the motion detection. <laughs> Please, where is he? I'm not seeing him. I'm just going... Oh god, he was right there. Alright, print menus. This... This shouldn't have happened. I, I don't know why it happened. It shouldn't have. I, must, I really just must have accidentally bought something that was in low quality. I'm going to, have to look over the recording as I edit it and see what I did wrong. Oh, 
Oh. That was not pleasant. That was not pleasant, Morton Freddy. I did... What, what did I ever do to you? I'm probably going to have to edit some of this is now stuff because open. it's uh, awesome. getting repetitive at this point, don't you think? Oh, mute voice, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see if we can see him. Oh, he's up there, so audio, I'm going to go up there, go back and order cuts. Oh, he's moving. Where is he? Where? He's moving. You know, those little sounds that you hear, it's a horrible explanation of the sound that makes. It's more of like a, I don't know, it's just a little sound that the computer makes anytime you have a motion detection the text that he moves. Now he's over there. So, I'm going to put the audio there. But that little sound that makes is basically just the sound of him moving. Oh, he's still moving. Yeah. Fuck you! Again. I'm not going to do very good here, am I? He's moving. Where is he? Where are you? Why are you there? I don't want you to be there! Go! Go! Uh, now... Now my vent... My, now my room is too hot. He tried to be quiet, but he can't. Because if I if I could afford He's out there, he's laughing at me. If I could afford the high speed connection, I probably would have beaten it there that, that one time that I almost got all the way through it. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. I'm saying alright a lot. Yes. Saying two again, but I'm gonna put the audio up there, and I'm going to order plates. Hopefully, oh, wrong button. I wish the motion detection detection was faster. Moving, moving fast. I wish the room could go down colder than 60 degrees because <clears throat> imagine if you go down like 50 or 40 degrees. Certainly, yeah, you would be cold in real life, but it would definitely be worth it to be able to go longer with the ventilation off. Because this room goes from 60 to 100 really fast. Oh, good. He's, he's there. Uh, well, it's not good, but hopefully it's a good place to lure him away with the audio lure. And this secondary vent hardly does a bloody thing, honestly. Uh, secondary ventilation system runs in the background, creating minimum noise. It's just not as good. It's not very good at all. And now I can get back to my work. If I could afford any one of the upgrades, it will be the high speed uplink, but anything would be a big help. It would be a lot faster. And the faster your night is, obviously, the less time there is for the animatronics to kill you, and then less likely you'll have to do it two or three times again. Oh, he's moving, he's moving, where is he? Oh god, he's right next to me. How hot can I handle? I'm not going any more over 105, that's ridiculous.
wait for the heat to go down, listen the best I can, and hope that he doesn't attack me, because that would be awful. Now my strategy is almost definitely not the best thing to be doing, uh, <laughs> but it's been a while so I'm figuring out this game all over again, and so far a couple of the jump scares have actually gotten me surprisingly. Motion detection, yes, please. They're right next to me. Go away. I don't want you here. I think the last set of ta tasks are a bit quieter than this one, and the printer, and the uh, ordering. Where are you? 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 Oh, they're right next to me still. Alright, you can... Stay right there, please. While this cools off. And then I'm going to, um... Try to lure it away with the audio lure again. It's moving. It's moving. The baby should not be here, and Freddy should not be here either. Alright, so I can turn that off. Oh god, I heard it move. I don't think I can look away. But I need to to check the motion detection. Where are you? Let me turn on the vent. Audio, right here. Go. Get out of here. Get. I really just need him to go, like, anywhere except for here. Alright, maybe. Maybe. Oh god, he's all the way up there now. Alright, stay up there. Please. These next few tasks aren't so loud. They don't make the printing sounds. Where are you? Where? Why are you there? I didn't ask you to be there. Audio, over here, please. I, I need to get the vents going again. It's too warm. This is not going to be good for me. This is, I am not going to be able to beat this, am I? Like, this night, maybe. But things get more difficult when Lefty and, uh, uh, Scrap Trap and... I don't know if Baby is actually here, but I'm almost certain I heard her voice. But when she's actually here, I'm going to be screwed if I can't get these upgrades, like, tomorrow. Never cool. No, I need that on still. I need motion detection, yes. Oh, there's absolutely without a shadow of a doubt two of them here. I can turn that off. We get a little warm in here. Motion detection, where are you? Alright, you're up there. I'm going to use the audio there. I saw the other one of them over here-ish. I'm going to try and use my audio there instead, because the one on top is not really a threat. The one on the side is starting to get to the point where it's almost a threat, if that makes sense. Alright, where are you? I can turn on my vent. That gets them to move. That gets me to cool off a little bit. And hopefully, hopefully I'll see them. Alright, he's right there. Audio, right there. Turn off the ventilation, maintenance, replace bulbs. As soon as this is done, you have to go back to the menu and hit, um, what is it? There's a button that says something else, uh, finish for today or something. And then, then that's it. Then you're done for today. You can leave this. Oh my god, it's done. Log off. Great that's job. It. it looks like oh, you're getting the hang goodness. of this. Now let's just focus that was harder on the end your first week. There's that a big party here Saturday. Been. And you should view that day Saturday. as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, and you will have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can be. And that's it for today. Oh god, that was harder than I should have been. Oh god, this. Congratulations on completing your first day. 
However, your job isn't over just yet. There's I'm another aware of aspect that. to your end of day routine. And that no one is, is here. I'm already inside. None of matters. Found in the alley outside the back door. Okay. Things are found here. Oh quite often. no. And while no. we aren't sure why, yes, no. what we do know is that they can no be particular used reason, parts, which can mean a much needed revenue boost. Ah, oh, and that means I don't gain money. Of course, I don't gain money from uh, everything else in this line of work. Those benefits come with risk. I don't gain money. The safest thing to do because is to throw it back. They're outside. already in the room. But then they're already in the office. Get no money whatever. for the salvage. Um, Choose to keep I can't it, sell and them. I can't get the money from it. Negative consequences, so, namely death. Boy, do I ever wish that didn't happen? Be as docile as oh, I really must have messed up on something. I must have gotten my life. If you do decide because, to try to um, salvage it. Then you must complete the maintenance checklist. I was trying checklist. to beat this game during this testing phase. Liability check on the animatronic frequently to see if what you kind of loss it is I'll becoming get. unstable. And I wouldn't get an AM because to I shouldn't have been. You can use it three times without and damaging the heart. And all of them got every use over point, three. However, they were all there. will decrease the item's salvage value. It's, it's weird, really weird. Before you is an animatronic found in the back alley, but we are unsure of its origins. I don't know, somehow or another, it is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it as salvage. Or if you choose to, I don't know what I did. I don't know if I was bad, or my liability got high enough now. that um, the animatronics were just around. So I just have Rhoda's back in the alley. Because it's uh, just a stick with a couple of boards and a smiley face, a winky smiley Don't face. Don't forget Saturday. You want them all to be in one place. Yes, I know. And unfortunately, there's already some of them in this place. New visitor is 30. No returning visitors, obviously. Yada, yada, yada. No lawsuits. Perfect. Now, how is there a liability risk? I'm taking a balloon! What's the kid going to do? Fucking swallow the damn balloon? How much are the, are the uh, stages? Huh. $200. I won't have any money left for the animatronics. Oh, God. I might as well just end the video here because this, um, this recording's been going on for a little while. I'm going to check to see if it says on my camera. No, it doesn't. Um, so, I think that'll be all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more gameplay videos. Uh, hopefully, if my computer can run it, I would love to play Security Breach when it comes out. I know it's going to be a very big game that needs fairly beefy requirements, but hopefully, I will be able to play it. Because, despite this being a laptop, it's reasonably sized. I can run some fair-sized games on it with reasonably high uh, graphic settings. So, how do I... Do I just hit escape? I think, that's, I think I just hit escape. So, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.